Toby Gard, Cinematics Director. Well, I've always been interested in mythology. I think that's fascinating to try and understand why people have such similar myths and sometimes such dissimilar myths. Eric Lindstrom, Creative Director. It took a lot of time to figure out what the mythology of the game should be because it's not something to be determined in isolation in terms of coming up with all the different places she would go. There were visual things to be considered. That leads to the mythology you would find in those places. That leads me back to what locations would be affected and vice versa. When you look back through the cultural past, there's lots of overlap of cultures prior to the point when we can know about them. We got to dig into Hindu culture in Thailand. We got to get into the Maya in Mexico. And we have all these local cultures, but then a unifying thread that leads her to all these locations is a much earlier mythology that we are saying is the Norse thread. And that was the piece that brought it all together. Various myths use different names, but they all apply to the same remnants of the ancient world. In Tomb Raider Underworld, Lara Croft uncovers the truth behind the myth of the Norse civilization. On her journey, she basically realizes that she needs to recover Thor's hammer. Thor's hammer is actually one of the most interesting archaeological pieces of mythology. It's compelling because it's actually so powerful that it is capable of killing immortal gods. As Lara fully uncovers the sort of secrets behind Norse mythology, she realizes that the hammer itself could possibly unleash Ragnarok, the end of the world. Pursuing her own goals is actually putting the world in danger. I need Thor's belt to get his hammer, and I need the hammer to kill a god.